Hey there. Today we'll be unboxing and setting up the Lumi DLP. Once you've unpacked everything, you'll find the printer, a toolbox, the small building plate, and the air purifier. The Lumi DLP comes with both a large and a small building plate, giving you more flexibility to choose the best option for your printing needs. Now let's go ahead and open the toolbox. Inside the toolbox, you'll find a set of tools that we'll be using later to set up the printer for our prints. First, open the lid. Next, take out the handle and screws from the toolbox and use the three mm Allen wrench to securely attach the handle to the lid. And remove the resin vat. Peel off the plastic protective film from the printing platform. Install the air purifier by connecting it to its designated port on the printer. Then, take the antenna and attach it to the back of the printer. Once you've plugged in the power cable and turned on the printer, we can begin the initial setup. After powering on the printer for the first time, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the initial setup. If you missed the tutorial, you can easily revisit it by navigating to Initial Setup in the System menu. Tap Next to move on to the DLP projector test. The test consists of three modes. Light up. Grid and blackened. Check the printing platform to see if the display is the same as the image on the touch panel. After completing the DLP projector test, we can proceed to the Z-axis calibration. As a reminder, please ensure that the resin vat is removed and that there are no obstructions between the printing platform and the building plate before continuing. First, cut a sheet of A4 paper in half and place one half on the printing platform. Ensure that the thumb screw on the building plate is securely tightened. Use the 3mm Allen wrench to loosen the four calibration screws on each side of the building plate. Wait for the Z-axis to reach the bottom, then tighten the calibration screws diagonally using the 3mm Allen wrench. Once you've done that, gently tug on the four corners of the paper to ensure there is consistent friction between the paper and the plate. After confirming that all four corners have the same level of friction, the Z-axis calibration is complete. Next, we'll proceed with the test print. Tap Next and follow the on-screen instructions to print the built-in test file. For this demonstration, we'll be using the water washable dental model resin and a dental model. So tap other resins and then OK to complete the initial setup. Before we begin, head over to the Frozen Dental website to download the DS Slicer, a professional slicing software specifically designed for dental applications. Retrieve the DS Slicer dongle from the toolbox and connect it to your computer. Launch the DS Slicer application, then select the printer and resin you will be using for your print. Inside the envelope from the toolbox, you'll find a warranty card containing the printer's serial number. Enter the serial number into the slicer, select the building plate, and then click Yes to proceed. Import the 3D model into the slicer by selecting Open from the File menu. Orient the model as desired. If you prefer to print the model flat on the plate, you can easily flatten it by selecting the surface and using the Select Base Plate option in the Orientation menu. Once you have repaired the model, click Single Pair of Slice to begin the slicing process. After it's complete, save the model by selecting your preferred storage location and naming the file for easy identification. After saving the file, you have the option to store it using a USB or transfer it wirelessly to the printer. To transfer wirelessly, enable Sharing Services in the Settings menu. In the interface, find the username, password, and IP address. Then enter them into the corresponding fields in the slicer to transfer the file. Once the transfer is complete, you will see the file in the printer's internal storage. We can begin the test print once the file transfer is complete. Before printing, you have the option to enable the heater based on your needs. Turn on the air purifier. Ensure the vat film is intact. After verifying everything, align the screws on the bottom of the vat with the slots on the printer, 
and secure the vat screws. Shake the resin bottle for about a minute to ensure it's evenly mixed. Pour the resin into the vat until it reaches the max line. On the printer's interface, navigate to local file and select the desired file to start the printing process. Remember to keep the lid closed during printing to prevent light exposure from affecting the model. Once the print is complete, open the lid and gently remove the building plate. Place the building plate in a metal tray and use the metal scraper to carefully remove the model. Fill the washing tank with water and operate the washing station to thoroughly clean the model for five minutes and remove any resin residue from the surface. If you're not using a water washable resin, please use alcohol or other suitable solvents for cleaning the model instead. After washing, carefully remove the model from the washing station and allow it to dry in a cool, well-ventilated area. Next, place the model in the curing station and set it to cure for 30 minutes. Congratulations! You've successfully completed the test print after removing the model. That's a wrap on the Frozen Lumi DLP unboxing and setup. Hope you find this video helpful. And be sure to let us know if you have any questions in the comment section. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on notification for more exciting news from Frozen. I'll see you next time. Bye.